everyone, I am Priyanka and today we will talk about spectrophotometry. In spectrophotometers, compounds absorb light radiation of specific wavelength. The amount of the light radiation absorbed by the sample is measured. The light absorption is directly related to the concentration of the compounds in the sample. As the concentration increases, light absorption increases linearly. And as the concentration increases, light transmission decreases exponentially. And we have two types of spectrophotometer here single beam spectrophotometer and double beam spectrophotometer. As the name suggests, single beam spectrophotometer produces single beam of light. Firstly, we have a light source that will produce a polychromatic light. After that, we have a wavelength selector that is our monochromator that allow only the uh, passage of a single wavelength. Then we have a sample holder. The sample holder is connected to the light detector. Now this detector will measure the amount of the light transmitted and convert it into electrical signal which can be seen by a computer or a display or a chart to display result. In case of double beam sector photometer, the difference lies two beam of light are generated. That means at same time we can uh, measure the absorbance of our sample and the reference. Next we have a Beard Lambert's law. Light absorption that is A is equal to epsilon LC where E is constant, L is the path length, C is the concentration. Light transmission that is designated as T which is equal to 10 minus E CL. Here I0 is the light intensity entering a sample, I is the light intensity exiting a sample, C the concentration of the analyte in sample, L the length of the light path in glass sample qubit, E that's a absolute, a constant for a particular solution and wavelength. Here we have the representation of spectrophotometer. First we have a light source, then we have a lens, then a monochromator that is our prism or grading, then a wavelength selector and slit, and we have a sample solution in qubit. Next we have a detector that is our photocell and a digital display or meter. Instrumentation part of spectrophotometer light source. So our electromagnetic spectrum have different range of radiation starting from X-ray, UV, visible, infrared, microwaves, Our spectrophotometer is capable of visualizing in visible range as well as in ultraviolet range also. Next we have a monochromator except all holochromatic input light from a lamp and output monochromatic light. That means Next we have dispersion device. A special plate with hundreds of parallel groove lines. The groove line acts to separate the light, white light into the visible light spectrum. The more line under, the smaller the wavelength resolution. Next we have focusing device. That is the combination of lens, slit and mirror. 
the lie and focus light through the instrument. Then we have a qubit designed to hold sample for spectroscopic examination made up of plastic, glass or optical grade quartz. Should be a clean as possible without impurities that might affect a spectrophotometric reading. Next we have our detectors that convert radiation light that is photon into electrical signals. The photocell and the phototube are the simplest photo detector producing current currents uh, proportional to the intensity of the light striking them. Now let us discuss the applications of spectrophotometer. First, concentration measurement. Prepare sample, make serial of standard solution of known concentration. For the measurement of concentration, we can use spectrophotometer. As you can see in the graph, uh, when a graph is plot between the absorbance and the concentration, a straight graph is received. Measuring the absorbance of the unknown and from the standard plot, read the related concentration. Next application we have chemical kinetics. Kinetics of reaction can also be studied using a UV spectrophotometer. The UV radiation is passed through the reaction cell and the absorbance changes can be absorbed. Now let us talk about the difference between a colorimeter and a spectrophotometer. Function Colorimeters measure absorbance of specific color by a sample whereas a spectrophotometer measures transparency and the reflectance of the color in the sample as a function of wavelength. In colorimeter, we have a range of wavelengths, whereas in spectrophotometer, we can measure the absorbance at a particular wavelength. Ranges, colorimeter. Colorimeter works only with light in the visible part of electromagnetic spectrum. In spectrophotometer work with infrared and ultraviolet light as well as visible light. Talking about the cost, colorimeter is cheaper compared to spectrophotometer. Whereas the spectrophotometer has a much wider range of functions which includes functions of colorimeter, hence it is more expensive than colorimeter. Thank you.